Okay, I think we're live. Hi guys, happy Friday. This is Ms. Kaja Shelty, my real estate partner, and this is Don Sellers, and thank you guys for tuning in. We're just gonna show you a couple properties today. We decided we wanted to take some tours of some new construction neighborhoods in Riverview. So we're here in Riverview, Florida, and we're actually here at a DR Horton community. DR Horton uh, is actually a home I used to live in in San Antonio. One of the homes that, that we had was a DR Horton, and I, I really like them. So the model that we're in, I'll tell you a little bit about the home before we go take a tour, but the model that we're in is uh, actually called the Elston. So the Elston model starts at a base price of 337, 490, and it's 2,260 square feet, four bedroom, two and a half bath, and it's got a two story and a two car garage. So again, this one is a four, two and a half for 337,000 base, base price, 2,260 square feet. Now this neighborhood in Riverview is Ridgewood. So this is the community that these homes are in. And there's approximately 401 home sites, 239 of them are single family. So the monthly HOA is $10.23, which is good, um, but there is a CDD. So the CDD fees for a 40 foot lot are $22.73 annually. And then for a 50 foot lot, it's $26.54. I'm sorry, $26.54. So $2,654 annually for CDD here. But here's what it covers. It covers a cabana, a zero entry pool, a tot lot, deed restrictions, obviously because of the CDD. And then of course they have street lights, stormwater ponds, and wetlands maintenance because we're in Florida, right? Mm -hmm. We have wetlands. Yes, we do. And then also landscape maintenance, which that's really nice if you don't wanna to have to deal with the landscape. So, and then of course the basic utilities are under Tampa Electric, Spectrum, and normal water sewer through Hillsborough County. So, and then the last thing before we get started on our tour, the schools, if you're interested in that, you're moving to Tampa or moving to Riverview, um, a lot of people, you know, pick up a, a neighborhood based on what school it's assigned. So the schools here are Warren Hope Dawson Elementary, Rogers Middle School, and Riverview High School. All right. And of course, DR Horton is offering a $10,000 um, closing cost contribution if you use their preferred lenders. And of course, that's always up to the, you know, the buyer. So let's go take a look. Let me see if I can flip this around. And we'll go do a little walk-in. So this is one of the bedrooms. I'm going to actually turn around and show you that we were in. <clears throat> Let me try to go slow. So this is one of the four bedrooms, and they have it converted into an office, which you totally could do if you don't have a million kids like I do. Really pretty. Thank you, Vanna White. That's behind door number one. Nice closet. So that's one of the bedrooms and we're upstairs right now. So we're upstairs. So this would be the second bedroom upstairs. So two of four. And they're nice size rooms. Let's see if I can flip y'all around. It kind of shows you a little bit of the community. Try not to make you guys dizzy. So one of the bedrooms, and it looks like they've got a full-size bed in here and there's plenty of room to walk around. Let me check out this closet, see how big they are. So standard size closet, kind of goes in a little bit on each side. All right, so now we come into the loft area. Hi, Miss Kaja. So here's the loft area, and that's a really big closet. Good for games and backpacks and all the fun stuff that families bring with them when they move. You can use it for towels or linens. And then you flip around and there's the upstairs bathroom. And remember, this is a two and a half bath. So this is one of the full baths. Nice size bathroom. And the bedrooms that we just walked into, they're there. And of course, there's the desk. And then you can see two bedrooms on one side, the stairway that goes downstairs, which we'll do in a minute. 
And on the other side of the stairs, then we have the third bedroom. Master. And this is the master. <clears throat> really pretty, very roomy. Got a king size bed. And I'm actually gonna back out a little bit just to show you the space that you have around the bed. So quite a bit of room, nice size bedroom. But look at the closet. That's nice. So I have a friend that really likes closets that have enough room to be able to put the little chase right there in the middle so you can sit on it and put your shoes on. So there's definitely enough room for that. For sure. We'll go into master bath. I'll pan over. Let you see it. Try not to get it shaky. So shower insert. And then a massive linen closet. I don't know if you can tell, but it is super deep. So there is all kinds of space for, I don't know about y'all, but I never know where to put my vacuum cleaner or my luggage. And so I don't like to clutter my garage. So for me, I probably would put my luggage in there. So when I'm ready to go fly somewhere, I don't have to dig through the garage. And then you have another, another closet over here. So tons of space and the toiletry closet. So very nice. So, so far we've seen two bedrooms plus the master. And there was the other closet. So upstairs, utility room, decent size, which is nice. Yes. The cool thing about the upstairs is you don't have to carry all your stuff down. So you can do laundry right up here where everyone's sleeping. Because for me, if my kids have any excuse not to get laundry done for us, because of course when you have five kids, you that's one of their chores. This way you have no excuses and the laundry can get done. So this is the upstairs. We'll walk down and we'll show you the downstairs. And again, if you're just joining us, this is a four, <clears throat> four bedroom, two and a half bath home. This is the Elston model, it's DR Horton. Base price is 337.49 and it's 2200 square feet, 2260. It's got a two story and a two car garage. So this is a living area. There's my beautiful partner, Miss Shelty. I do love this kitchen. I love this kitchen. I like these bar stools. Yeah. Those are cool. I don't think I've ever seen any like that. So we see the dining room is attached to the living area. So big open room, really open, nice cabinetry. All standard with the stainless steel appliances. So this is actually the pantry. This is one of the pantries. So here, check this out. This home has two pantries, y'all, two. So this one's pretty deep. I think you can see it. It's got a little slanted ceiling, but this is only pantry number one. Okay, so here's the other side of the kitchen. Flat top stainless stove. Again, dishwasher. There's a big closet right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. But really big. And then of course the living room. And we'll pan over and I'm gonna show you the other pantry. So check this out. <clears throat> Ta-da! Pantry number two. Or you could have your mop, broom, all that lovely cleaning stuff that we have, our shopping bags, dog food, cat food, all that mess, right, that we collect in our house and we have no idea where we're gonna put it. And then this is the half bath. So super nice. 
What do you think, Kaja? Oh, I like it. It's a really pretty floor plan. It's really open. I love open floor plans. Yeah, this one, this one has a really cool feel to it. It's super, super roomy. And look at the entryway. I mean, you even have room in the entryway to do if you wanted to go get one of those Ikea or those even kind of the, the real wood um, little benches that have like the book, yep. the little book bag holders or a bench. You could totally have room to do that. So super cool. Kaji, you want to sign out? Thanks for watching, guys. You guys will see us in just a few minutes. Bye, guys.